Hi, this is part two of New York's War on Anglers. And I'm going to explain to you why uh, you cannot catch fish. It would be the wildest truck of luck to ever catch a fish with steel sinkers. And here, I'm going to explain why. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner here, That's an, let's say that's an oxygen atom. It's actually O2. Well, oxygen is a very hungry molecule. It has oxygen molecule, O2, has a positive valence of plus, plus 2. Meaning it's electrically charged with a positive electric charge, which means it doesn't have enough electrons to counterbalance the uh, protons that are in the nucleus. So you wind up with plus two. Now steel is especially uh, vulnerable to corrosion more, far more so than lead. So, what does that mean? Well, what they do is they coat steel sinkers with something called a sacrificial anode. Now, what does a sacrificial anode do? Well, basically, it's there to corrode instead of the sinker itself. It's a metal, uh, the source said they don't want uh, zinc anymore and they want lead, so I don't know what they're using. But it's to prevent corrosion. What the sacrificial anode does is it binds with oxygen and makes the oxygen happy because it gets the uh, necessary electrons from it. But in the meantime, of course, it destroys the metal because you're joining a gas with metal, and that doesn't work out very well for its structure. At any rate, so oxygen joins with it, and hopefully it prevents the steel itself from corroding. But there's a problem. See, fish have, fish are very, uh, fussy. I'm going to close that. Fish use electric, electrical uh, impulses and stuff to navigate around. That's really, that's really no secret. Look at an electric eel. That's an extreme case. That one can even take down a human. So it's more a matter of it shocks its prey rather than just navigating around. Now, I'm going to show you another fish that is perfectly capable of... Uh, Navigating around and almost certainly uses electric fields. Hang on. Okay, this uh, little fish is a favorite of aquarium keepers. A lot of people love this one. It's called the blind cave fish. Yes, it is blind, it has no eyes. It's still able to na negotiate around, almost certainly using electric fields because fish don't use sound really uh aquatic mammals do marine animals certainly echolocation but fish don't so it almost has to be electrical fields which brings us back to what i was showing with the oxygen binding with the sacrificial anode what happens here well as soon as you throw your line in the oxygen in the water, this oxygen that's dissolved in the water, that's going to head straight for that sacrificial anode and start binding it with it. So what, what has happened here? You're getting a weak electric current. Nothing that we would ever be able to feel, of course. 
but we're these are clunky old humans and very large. The fish can feel it. The fish can sense it. They navigate with this stuff. They live in an electrically charged world. We can't feel it. I mean, it would be far too far, small, even for our uh, instruments, I would think. But not for the fish. Because this is just part of their world. So you throw your uh, steel sinker in the water, and the oxygen starts hitting that sacrificial anode, and you have electricity flowing. And the fish are going to say, hey, screw this. I don't want nothing to do with this. And so they swim away, and you wind up not getting any bites. Duh! That's basically what it is. Plus the shininess probably doesn't help either. Now this doesn't affect lures, by the way. I mean, to be clear, lures are a different subject. I'm only talking about steel sinkers. So there's your reason in a nutshell. Uh me you know, steel sinkers with left uncoated will cause a slight amount of electrical disturbance and that uh sends fish packing. I have tried not specifically steel sinkers, but I've tried using basically steel nuts to be honest with you. And the fish will not go near them. And it's because you have this situation where they're sensing an electrical imbalance and they don't want anything to do with it. Eventually they would get used to it, but eventually it doesn't do you any good when you're uh, using worms to fish with. Well, that's your explanation. This is why you will not catch it catch anything with steel sinkers unless you do something to modify them. In part three, that's what I'm going to deal with. Thanks for watching. I'm Artifacts Mars. We're going to uh, go with part three now.